we are gathered together at our tables with our meals before us, separate but together. If possible, please set an extra place at your table to symbolize those you wish were present in body, but are not. If you will watch the service, take time to set up your device so that as many as possible can see the screen. And then begin the video for worship. Please wait to eat until the end of this brief worship service. Now, let us enter into worship together. Just as Jesus and the disciples gather together for a meal. So we gather this night, even though we are apart. An empty chair reminds us of those who are present with us only in spirit. Who do you wish were gathered with you? While loved ones are far from us, we gather together in the Holy Spirit. For we are united in and through Jesus. Amen. The Gospel lesson this evening begins with the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verses 12 through 16. It was the beginning of the Passover celebration. The first day of the festival of unleavened bread, when the Passover lambs were being killed. Jesus' disciples asked him, Where do you want us to prepare the Passover meal? Jesus said to two of the disciples, Go into the city where you will meet a man carrying a jar of water. Follow him. When he goes into a house, say to the owner, Our teacher wants to know if you have a room where he can eat the Passover meal with his disciples. The owner will take you upstairs and show you a large room, furnished and ready for you to use. Prepare the meal there. The two disciples went into the city and found everything just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover meal there. And we'll join together in singing and signing the song, Let Us Break Bread Together. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the shining sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let 
us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us praise God together on our knees. Let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Let us pray together a prayer before we eat our meal. Everyone, please join in. Lord Jesus Christ, you ate with disciples, with sinners, and with the powerful. Help us to know your presence at our tables tonight. Bless the food that we eat. Bless the friendship and community we share with people near and far so that we will draw closer to you and to one another. Amen. The Gospel lesson continues from Mark chapter 14. Now we have verses 17 through 25. While Jesus and the twelve disciples were eating together that evening, Jesus said, The one who will betray me is now eating with me. This made the disciples sad and shocked. And one after another, they said to Jesus, You surely don't mean me. Jesus answered, It is one of the twelve of you eating this from this dish with me. The Son of Man will die. Just as the scriptures say, It is going to be terrible for the one who betrays me. That man would be better off if he had never been born. During the meal, Jesus took some bread in his hands. He blessed the bread and broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this. It is my body. Jesus picked up a cup of wine and gave thanks to God. He gave it to his disciples and they all drank some. Then he said, This is my blood, which is poured out for you and many people. And with it, God makes his agreement. From now on, I will not drink any wine until I drink new wine in God's kingdom. I'd like to offer a brief reflection this evening. Normally, Bread of Life, Deaf Lutheran Church, has not gathered together on Holy Thursday 
for many years. Holy Thursday is also called Maundy Thursday. But in 2020, in the strange time that we are living, we are staying separated in order to preserve life for the long run. And we have an opportunity in this format to gather together around each of our tables. We cannot gather together in person. We need to stay separated to take care of one another. But we all have a table. We all have to eat. And this day, Holy Thursday, we remember that Jesus also gathered at a table with his, his disciples and friends. They shared a last meal before Jesus was crucified. We also gather together while we are apart. We gather at our tables and realize that the food, the drink, that we have here, Jesus uses us, uses these things to remind us that food is holy. And that when we gather together in community, we realize that community itself is holy. Jesus teaches, gives us these gifts, reminds us every time we eat, every time we eat food, we remember. The food supports us. It sustains us. The food that God gives to us is holy. And every time we take time to um, video phone someone, text someone, email someone. Every time we remember Bread of Life or the connection with the deaf community, we know that God is giving us the gift of community and that the community itself is a holy experience. We sit together we know God is here with us right now. How do we know this? Through the food that God has given us, through the community we have with one another. God knows that our bodies need sustenance with food. And God knows our spirits need sustenance with community through one another. So now, we use these gifts to remember all the gifts that God gives to us, specifically through food and through community. They both remind us of God's gifts. And now, as we will share this meal together, we remember all of the people who are involved with our food. People who planted the food, people who harvested food, people who packed up the food, 
to send the food. We remember the truck drivers. They drive the food to our stores. We remember the grocery store workers. And we remember the people who make the food, people in our homes, people in restaurants. There's so many people involved in making the food that we eat. As we eat, we remember and give thanks to God for all of those people. And we thank God for Jesus. We thank God that Jesus recognizes our bodies and our spirits. That Jesus honors us with meals together. We thank God that Jesus reminds us that in our eating, we remember Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. So perhaps you are fortunate enough to have other people with you. So that you can share memories of important meals. And as you eat, talk about how you noticed Jesus' presence at those special meals. Dorothy, I wonder, do you have an example of noticing Jesus' presence um, during a meal that you had? I do have one meal I remember. Many years ago, I worked for a bank and I was sitting down to eat my lunch near a large window. It was winter outside. So I was sitting there eating. I looked out. I was looking at the pine tree that was right outside the window. And here comes a bird finding shelter and food in that tree. As I watched that bird, I realized God is taking care of even this tiny, tiny bird. God uses the tree to feed the bird, and God takes care of everyone, everyone in the world. I remember a special meal with my family. My husband's dad was very sick. He had lung cancer. And in 2003, my husband's dad's name is, was Tom. And it was Tom's birthday. So we had a family meal to celebrate his birthday. Um, oh, he was so very sick at that time. Those of us in the family, we were very sad, heartbroken. We knew soon that Tom would die. We were full of grief. And Tom needed oxygen. It hurt and Tom suffered as he sat at the table because it hurt so much to sit with us. And food didn't taste good. He did not enjoy eating at that point in time. But he sat with us. He ate with us. And he was so, so silly. He teased us. He was just full of good humor and fun. Tom helped us in our family. We needed to laugh instead of weep. 
Tom himself helped us. And now, as I recall that story and think about Tom's actions and his behaviors, I realize that Jesus himself joined in our family meal to help us continue on. That meal was such a special time for our family. And Jesus joined in and ate with us. I hope that each of you can remember a special meal when you know Jesus is present with you in the food you're eating in the time together. During your meal tonight, discuss this question. Can you remember some different special meals, different normal meals? Remember different times that you noticed Jesus was here joining in your meals with you. And so now we will join together in a closing prayer. Almighty God, thank you for feeding us this night. Thank you for your sustaining presence during this time of separation. Help us place our trust in you and to follow Jesus wherever he leads us. Amen. Peace be with you and also with you.